If you want to try this one on your own, go ahead and pause the video, but I'm going to go through it in three, two, one. We are trying to find the length of BD in this diagram. I am told that AB is parallel to DC, and we're also told each of those lengths are four and six. We know that down in the bottom right, angle C is 45 degrees. So what I want to do is break this up into somewhat more familiar shapes with some right angles. So let me go ahead and drop a perpendicular down to DC, and I'll call this point maybe E. Now I've created a right triangle with a 45 degree angle, which means that the other angle of this triangle will also be 45 degrees. So something that's a little bit helpful here is that it is an isosceles right triangle. So the height and the base of this triangle will also be congruent to one another. Dropping that height BE down also creates a parallelogram here, ADEB, which will be a rectangle. And that's helpful because I can say that that DE then is four. And since the entire length DC is six, this length must be two. So X is two, which means that my height is also two. From here, if I'm just trying to find the diagonal BD, I've now created a right triangle where I know the base and the height. So let me use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for my hypotenuse. My first leg is four, my second leg is two, and that will equal the square of my hypotenuse, which is BD. Square rooting both sides. I don't need a positive negative because we are looking for a length. So BD will equal the square root of 20, which can simplify by factoring it into the square root of four times five and taking the square root of four as two square root of five. So my length BD is two square root five and that is it.